effect on Palestinian Christians. Of course, the harsh reality of the occupation have had a dramatic effect on all Palestinian Christians because they were relatively small population to begin with. According to Bethlehem University uh, survey, in 1966, they were, there were still about 13% of the population of historic Palestine were Christians. But by 1993, the percentage has dropped to about 2.1% because Christians left at twice the national rate, probably because of their closer connection with international and educational institutions. Now the number seems to have drifted down to about 1.5% of the total population. If we want to keep a local Christian witness in the land of the resurrection, we must act to change the situation. We believe God has called us, all of us, to an urgent mission to promote justice, nonviolence, tolerance, and mutual respect for all people. And I believe the only way to keep Christians in the country is the way that we, heads of churches, have written together. Community-based education. Create jobs. At the moment, the rate of unemployment in the West Bank is 65%. It's very high. And 70% of our people are living under the poverty line. This is the reason when they find no hope for a change in such a situation, they have lost, they don't find any vacancy for work, they leave the country. We have at the moment more Christians or more Palestinian Christians in the United States than in the West Bank and Jerusalem. And of course, what is a holy land without Christians? At the same time, I want to tell you, it's very important for us to assist Christians to have housing. You know, and when I speak about housing in the United States, housing, you know, is very easy. But when we are speaking on Jer in Jerusalem, it's not easy because the population is living near each other, not as wide as in Chicago. You see, you have enough space. It's our aim to build 84 apartments for 84 young couples to live in Jerusalem. We want to help give hope for these young couples in order to allow them to stay in the country. And I tell you, we are in a good stage. The ELCA is having a campaign to gather $2 million for this project. The Scandinavian countries are committing themselves also to give us funds for this project. And if we can collect the fund within one year or two years, in, two, in three years' time, the housing project will be a reality and will help people to stay in the country and not immigrate. And that is part of the mission 